In Twilight Struggle, the Urian Samantha card is undervalued by a lot of players. It calls for straightforward play for both sides, but it is good to have a grasp on this one. We'll take a look at it today here on Legendary Tactics. The Yuri and Samantha event card represents a nice, human event that occurred towards the end of the Cold War, when Samantha Smith, an American schoolgirl, struck up a correspondence with Yuri Andropov, the General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party. In game terms, this event is actually not a bad one for the USSR. Let's take a look at it now. First of all, the event. Yuri and Samantha is a starred, two-op, late-war Soviet event card. Triggering the event results in the USSR receiving one victory point for each US coup attempt made for the remainder of the current turn. For the USSR, this is a card best used as a headline to maximize its potential effect. Beyond the victory points that now become available, this card can disrupt the Americans' plans at a time in the game when the US is looking to finally turn the tables. Because every coup now will have a cost of one victory point to your opponent at a time when victory points are top of mind, the US is likely to limit their coups for the turn, only sticking to the ones that are absolutely necessary. The result is that you can expand aggressively, especially in the non-battlegrounds in the mid-war regions of Africa, Central America, and South America. It is unlikely that the US will coup in non-battlegrounds if it is going to cost them a victory point every time. This card can also be a way to defend against events that improve DEFCON, or events like nuclear subs by at least exacting a price from US coup activity, whenever and however it occurs. For the US, this is an easy one. Simply play this card in your last action round to no effect, or when you feel your coups are done for the turn. Even if you do end up playing it late in the turn and needing to coup somewhere, as long as that coup is necessary, the downside is minimal. If it is played on you, typically you will need to adjust your calculus in making your plans for the turn. One victory point is not the end of the world, but if you had big plans and potentially some helpful events involving coups, it certainly will give you pause. So in summary, for the USSR, this card is a solid headline that not only awards you victory points, but disrupts your opponent's play. And for the US, simply play it as late in your turn as you can, and there shouldn't be much of a downside, if any at all. This has been our analysis of the Yuri and Samantha card in the game Twilight Struggle. We hope you got some value out of this video, and if you did, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.